two, three, and then one and a half, three, and four. Let me see. Now, as long as you're on a road, you can use uh, strategic movement, double move, um, as long as you don't start or end uh, in an enemy zone of control. But these trails, which are the light dotted ones, you don't get strategic movement on those, so okay. uh, they do slow you down. That's going to be one and two. One. One and two. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not counting for the downhill. It's plus one for upslope and downslope. So that would be two coming down off the hill. And then three. And then two, three, and four. And then one, two for road movement. Wayne is going to get froggy and cross the creek. So it's plus one across the creek. And the heavy woods is one and a half, so it's basically two and a half to get there. Three and a half, four to get there. Two each to get the artillery down off the slope. Uh, let's see. On the right way, you You have the, the one more thing you need to be. Oh wait, I got to move uh, Washington. I guess I should probably do that. And Lord Sterling. Okay, so you've got defensive artillery. Now you've got a unit down here behind this hedge, the howitzers. Uh, they are a bit of a unique unit. You can just, just to kind of point you to where they're at in the rules. Where are they in the rules? Let's find it on page four and four point two. Okay. Your howitzers basically have a range of four hexes, and they're non-line of sight, so you can use them to fire at any target within four hexes. Okay. So your other so. Most of your other artillery back there behind that hedge doesn't really have a, a useful line of sight. Um, for no flint gray, you've got an artillery unit there, and he does have, it looks to me, a line of sight to uh, at least the Glover's Brigade. Um, I don't think to anywhere else because it would have to pass through the uh, the woods. Is that the Patterson unit you're talking about? No, no, it's the Third Brigade Artillery. Look, look under No Flint Gray, up there in your in the center. <laughs> okay. You've got that two fat. So he does have a line of sight to the Lover's Brigade. The two-hit table for artillery and rifles is on uh, the middle inset of your uh, of your charts here. It's the fire two-hit table. And what you do, Charles, is you look down the left and see how many strength points you've got firing. Uh, in this case, your third brigade's got two strength points. And then it shows you the... Okay. Yep, I see the artillery. Okay, so your third brigade artillery really only has, like I, like I said, I believe, 
line of sight to uh, Glover's Brigade, and there is a line of sight tool that you can use up there. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, you're going to have to, like, to get to Lord Sterling, you're going to have to fire through the woods so the line of sight is blocked. Right. Uh, to get up here to Silly's Picked, um, again, through the woods, can't hit Washington because you've got to fire through woods and your own unit. So you could take a shot at Glover's Brigade. And so what you do is you find that two strength points on the table, look over to three hexes, and you need an eight to hit. And then if you look at where Glover's Brigade is, he's not in woods because that would be another plus one. He's not light infantry. Um, so you're you you know you're basically looking at an eight to hit. Okay, now the sequence of play. Uh, we're in the movement phase, and we are not to the, uh, we're not to the point of defensive artillery fire yet, right? Well, we are, because I've, I'm done moving, and I have nobody to rally. Okay. So, I shall find my artillery. Is that good? I haven't seen a dice roll yet. Oh, I'm just uh, making sure it's re you're ready for it. Oops, we'll take the first one. Oh, well, I guess. Now, is it a 0 a 10 or a... A 0 is a 0. Okay. But your, but your roll, two strength points at three hexes, is an 8 to hit. So you've hit. So what we're going to do now is move over to the artillery fire damage table and look on the non-artillery column and go ahead and roll again. You hit that twice. We're not going to count that. Okay. Holy crap. <laughs> That's a one-step loss, and if there had been a leader with Glover's Brigade, the leader would be dead. That's a, a fantastic result. Now, the nice thing about the way Rob's got this set up, it, what I'm doing right now is I'm right-clicking on Glover's Brigade, and, and it, you can right-click on any of your units and follow along because uh, it should look the same. And it says Step, step Loss Results, and I'm going to click on One Step Loss. And so what that just did was that flipped Glover's brigade over, so he's lost a step. And you, you can tell by looking at him he's lost a step because Rob's put that nice yellow underline on him. See okay. it? Yep. Now the other thing it's done, if you look at the morale track, it's automatically updated the morale. A step loss causes me to lose a step of morale, so I'm down to 18, and you gain a step, so you're up to 20. 